now that we know a little bit about probability distributions, um, one of the things that you, you're going to be asked quite a bit in statistics is what is the expected value? And the expected value <clears throat> is pretty important. And it's not that not that difficult to find. Sometimes it just takes a while to get it set up. And lots of times what you'll find is with an expected value, you have a word problem. Okay, um, let's read the little definition here for expected values. An expected value of a discrete random variable is equal to the mean of the random variable. Now, if you've been watching my videos, we already found the mean or how, we already know the formula to find the mean of a probability distribution. You take the sum of all of each outcome of a random variable and multiply it by its corresponding probability. Once you find the product of each of those, you add them all up. So over here was an example. I took 1 times 0.3, 2 times 0.1, 3 times 0.5, and 4 times 0.1, and you find those products, and then you add them all up to get the mean. Well, the mean is the same as the expected value. So I need to look at this example here, and I'm going to set up a probability distribution with it, and then I'm going to find the mean, which is the expected value. Take a look at the example. At a raffle, 2,000 tickets are sold at $5 each for five prizes of $2,000, $1,000, $500, $250, and $100. You buy one ticket. That's important. You buy one ticket. What is the expected value of your gain? Well, this is important as well. What is the expected value of your gain? I need to know what the random variable is. So my random variable x is going to be my gain. That's, in ver that's very important to realize. If I don't know what my random variable is, I'm going to have a hard time setting up my probability distribution. So my random variable is my gain. Well, let's see what could happen here. What are all the different outcomes for my gain? Well, I spent $5 and I could lose. In fact, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to lose. So my gain could be negative $5 because if I buy a ticket and I do not win, my gain was negative 5. But if I buy a ticket and I win the $100 prize, my gain is $95. If I buy a ticket and I win the $250 prize, my gain is $245. If I buy a ticket and I win the $500 prize, my gain is $495. And if I win the $1,000 prize, my gain is $995. And if I happen to win the grand prize of $2,000, my gain is going to be $1,000. $1,995. So that's all the possible outcomes for my random variable. Well, the next thing that I need to find is the probability of each of these outcomes. Well, to find the probability for each outcome, I need to think logically about what's going on here. I am buying one ticket, and there were 2,000 tickets sold. Okay. I'm buying one ticket and there are 2,000 tickets sold. So what's the chances that I lose my $5? Okay. Well, there are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 prizes given away. And of those 5 prizes, so that means that of the 2,000 tickets, there are going to be 1,900 95 tickets that do not win. So the probability that I lose is 1,995 out of 2,000. Okay, there's a chance that my one ticket is one of the 1,995 tickets. Well, I want to change that to a decimal, and that's 0.9975. So there's a 99.75% a chance that I am going to lose my $5. Okay, now let's move on to the chances that I win each of these. If I take a look at this, how many people are going to win $95 or the $100 prize? Well, only one person is going to win each of these prizes. So the probability that I win 
for each of these prizes is going to be 1 out of 2,000. So the probability that I, my gain is 95 is 1 out of 2,000, and that's going to turn into 0 .0005 as a decimal. And it just so happens that each one of these probabilities is 1 out of 2,000. So the probability that I win any of these prizes is 1 out of 2,000, or 0 .0005. So the probability that my gain is 245, or 495, or 995, or 1995, each of those is going to have the same probability. Okay, so I'm still, all I have done now is set up my probability distribution. What I now need to do is find my expected value. And in order to do that, I have to take each random variable, multiply it by its corresponding probability, and then find the sum of all of those, sum of all of those products. Well, I've done the math beforehand, and negative 5 times 0.99575 is equal to negative 4.9875. And 95 times 0 .0005 is equal to 0 .0475. And then 245 times 0 .0005 is equal to 0.1225. And then the product here is 0.2475. Let me rewrite that. 0.2475. The next product is 0.4975, and the last one is 0.9975. So when I find the sum of all of this, I add all of those together, I end up getting negative 3.075. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means this. Let me type this out. Since my expected value is negative 3.075, it means this. I can expect to lose $3.08 for every ticket, every raffle ticket that I buy. You should always write your answer in the context of the problem. It's a word problem, so you want to write your answer as a complete sentence. My gain is negative 3.075, so I can expect to lose, and a good word to put in there is about. I can expect to lose about $3.08 for every raffle ticket that I buy. So there's an example of how you can find expected value. You usually have a word problem. You take that word problem and set up your probability distribution. And then once you have your probability distribution, find the mean of that probability distribution by using this formula. And then once you have your um, mean, that is also your expected value. Guess my time is up.